oh, just because they get masks, they get gloves, they go out, buy all the toilet tissue in the stores, right. they're gonna, that they're gonna escape from the coronavirus. But guess what? The law reveals something to his prophets. Get that in Amos. Bring it up. Get that in Amos. Reveal all the stuff, his secrets to his prophets. Listen good to what the Bible says. Our people bugging out over all these pestilences that's going out throughout the earth, but they got something bigger on their hand that they should be scared of. Right. You got that, Amos, about the secrets. Listen good to what the Bible say, all right? Read that. Amos chapter 3 and verse 7. Bring it out. Surely the Lord God will do nothing but reveal his secret unto his servants. What? The prophets. What you do what? Read that again. But surely the Lord God will do nothing but reveal it, his secret unto his servants, so, the prophets. So God says he's going to reveal his secrets unto his prophets. Who is prophets? The so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American men that oh, rise man. up as you see in purple and gold and teach his word throughout the four corners of the earth. Yeah. Yeah. That's who his prophets is. You understand that? So God revealing his secrets to us. What is his secrets? Everybody bugging out, going crazy over this coronavirus. But why? You don't see none of these men right here bugging out. You don't see none of us wearing masks and gloves, going out buying all the toilet tissue. Why? Because we know the secrets of God. That's right. What's his secrets? Go to that Deuteronomy 28. Again, do, go to Deuteronomy 28. 15. Brother here, Ronald. Yeah, 15. What is your nationality? What is your nationality? I'm asking you a question. Uh, African American, right? Now, if you heard earlier, a lot of history that our people don't know is that African and American come from so two so-called white men. Leo Scipio's Africanus, right. he named Africa after himself, and Amerigo Vespucci, right. he named this side of the world after himself. Right. Now, do we come from two white men? No, we out. don't, right? So guess what? There's a secret that has been hidden in the earth about who we are according to the Bible. Right. Right. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. Like the Bible says, he's going to reveal his secrets unto his prophets. Listen to what are the secrets that he revealed unto us that we're teaching y'all. Read. But it shall come to pass, uh -huh. and thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So if our people, the Israelites, do not listen to God's voice, go ahead. To observe, to do all his commandments uh -huh. and his statutes, which I command thee this day. So if our people do not listen to God's law, statutes, and commandments this day in 2020 as we're speaking to you, right? Because a lot of our people, they're walking past, they hear us calling to them. They had God reaching out his hands forth to them. Right. right. And I'm going to show you something about that. People who walk by when the word of God is coming out. Bring it out. Yeah. So God is teaching his law, statutes, and commandments today. But people walking by, running behind the corners, selling crack, doing drugs. Dude. Read. Bring it out. Keep going. Which I command you this day. Huh? That all these curses. All these what? That all these curses. All these what? All these curses. So let me ask Sean Ronald and Ephraim. Is curses a good thing or a bad thing? Yeah. It's a bad thing, right? Now let's see. Now go ahead, read on. Shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Now let's see these curses that are going to happen upon the Israelites. You already know, right? Ephraim, what we went over earlier. Yeah. You already know, but let's show Ronald. Some of the secrets that's being revealed unto you this, unto you this day. Go to verse 48. Verse 48. Uh -huh. Therefore shall thy serve thy enemies. So God says, therefore, for his people breaking his commandments this day, they're going to have to serve their enemies. Read. Which the Lord shall send against thee. And a secret is, God sent the so-called white man against us. Right. God sent all these nations against us Jeez. to destroy us. Bring it out. Because we broke his commandments. Right. Read. And hunger. In hunger, we're going to have to serve our enemies. You got a job, Ronald? So if you want anything to eat, right, you got to serve your enemies, earn money from them to go get the food, right? Right. Read. And it thirst. You got to earn money to buy water to pay your water bill, to get some aquafina, to get some Kool-Aid, soda, right? Go ahead. And in nakedness. And the clothes on your back. You got to go to your enemies for that, right? Go ahead. And in wants of all things. Anything you want. You want a house. You want a car. 
You want a birth certificate, driver's license. You got to serve your enemies for those things. Right. Right. These are the secrets in the Bible that no Christian church can teach us. Right. Read. And he. And he, the same enemy, give me the sign. And read that part again. And he uh -huh. shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. He shall do what? And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. You have never heard this in your life, Ronald. Right. That your history is recorded in the Holy Bible. That's right. right. The Bible says for the Israelites, for the Israelites that break his commandments, they were going to have yokes of iron upon their neck. Right. That's right. What has happened to Ronald? They happened to slaves, our people, right? But listen good. God says that's going to happen to the Israelites. But you said it happened to the slaves, which is right. Then who are we according to the Bible? Bring it out. Bring it out. Who are we? If he said that's going to happen to the Israelites, then who are we? That we're the Israelites according to the Bible. That's right. You see that? These are secrets being revealed unto you out the Bible. Because yeah. whenever you go to any Christian church and you ask them, well, who's the Israelites? Who's God's people? They will tell you, well, everybody God's people. But did everybody on the planet Earth have yokes of iron on their neck? No. Yeah. No. So we are the Israelites according to the Bible. Hey, right. Get on verse 68. Bring it out. Verse 68. Read. And the Lord shall bring thee uh -huh. into Egypt again. Give me that sound again. Go ahead. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again uh -huh. with ships. So do you know a little history about the Israelites in Egypt the first time? When it was under Pharaoh building the pyramids and everything? Right, so God says he's going to bring the Israelites into Egypt again. Did they ever go back into Egypt? They never went back into Egypt. Now I'm going to tell you, Egypt is a Greek word that means bondage, right. slavery. So he's going to bring them back into that same condition again. How? With ships. How? With ships. One more time. With ships. How do we get over here into the condition of slavery? Get out. Ships, right? Yeah. These are more secrets in the Bible. We are the people of the book. That's we right. are the Israelites according to the Bible. That's right. right. There you go, soldier. Read on. By the way, wherever I speak unto thee. So by the way that Moses prophesied it, that's exactly how it's going to happen. And then we're going to slavery on ships? Then we're going to slavery on ships? That's exactly how Moses prophesied it. Read. Thou shalt see it. No more again. We're not going to see our homeland, Jerusalem, no more again. That's right. And if you didn't know, Jerusalem is in Africa, northeast right. part of Africa. Right. The top right. Okay? Read. And there you shall be sold unto your enemies. And there, once you get off the slave ships in Charleston, South Carolina, in the islands, right? You shall be what? And there you shall be sold. Unto your enemies. You shall be sold unto your enemies. Didn't that happen to us? Then we got off the slave, went on slavery on slave ships. Then once we got off the slave ships, we were sold on auction slave blocks. Yeah. Right. This is our history in the Bible. Yeah. You never heard that before, ain't it, Ronald? Never heard that before. But you're here in the plainest day right now. Read on. For bond men. For slave men. Go ahead. And bond women. And slave women. So slave men and slave women was on our slave ships, packed up like sardines, defecating on each other, puking on each other, diseases. All these things happened to us. Get out. Because we, as the children of Israel, broke God's commandments. Right. During the time when we left out of Egypt the first time and we was in the wilderness, we was murmuring, complaining to Moses and God. And God judged us in the future by putting us in slavery on slave ships. Right. Right. You understand that? Get verse 61. The officers brought this out earlier. Verse 61, read that. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 61. And like I was saying earlier, everybody got a bigger problem than worrying about the coronavirus. Because guess what? You got to worry about where the coronavirus is coming from. Right. 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 That's the brain thing. That's what you got to worry about. Everybody think, yes. The coronavirus is man-made, right? But who is the one that put it put on the spirit of the person that made the coronavirus? Right. Who's the person that orchestrated the whole thing? Let's see. Read. Also, every sickness and every plague. Uh, so every sickness and every plague, our people got gout, high blood pressure, cancer, 
syphilis, AIDS, coronavirus, that's a peg. So all these pegs, which is what? Which is not written in the book of this law. Can you find coronavirus in the Bible? See, you get can't. Out. You're just not hearing it in 2020, right? Yeah. So God get says, out. all these pegs, which are right, which are not written in the book, read. Them will the Lord bring upon thee. What will the Lord do? Will the Lord bring upon thee. Those diseases. God is going to bring upon our people for breaking his commandments. Read. Right, that's right. Until thou be destroyed. Until we be destroyed. Now you're seeing a lot of dust all over the United States, right? But I don't see, I don't see our people dying from it. But guess what? Get, get that in um Isaiah. Hold that. Isaiah uh, 1, if they should be, if he but left the remnant, we should be as Sodom and Gomorrah. I want that right quick. So, Isaiah 1 9. 1 and 9? Alright, read that. Isaiah chapter 1, verse 9. Let me show you something about this script. Except the Lord of hosts hath left unto us a very small remnant. Now, stop right there. Unless the Lord had left a small remnant. Right now, you see a, a small bit of us, right? This is the remnant that God is prophesying about. Right. Isaiah is prophesying about. His prophets not yielding to the ways of America. Right, right here to the ways of the devil, which is the so-called white man according to the Bible. Right, oh, that's right. We're not following his ways, and we're following God's ways. This is the remnant that you see right now. Read. Except the Lord of hosts has left unto us a very small remnant. Go ahead. We should have been as Sodom, and we should have been like unto Gomorrah. What happened in Sodom and Gomorrah? Yeah. Tell me that. What happened in Sodom and Gomorrah, Ephraim Ronald? You don't remember? What happened in Sodom and Gomorrah? Jeez. I got y'all. What happened in Sodom, Sodom and Gomorrah was a lot of homosexuality, bestiality, all kind of wickedness, uh, all kind of homosexuality, lesbianism, all kind of evil was going on in Sodom and Gomorrah, right? Right. So what God had to do to get rid of all that wickedness? What did he do to Sodom and Gomorrah? He destroyed it, right? What you got? All right, get that. Genesis chapter 19, verse 24. Bring it out. Then the Lord rained upon Sodom and upon Gomorrah, brimstone and fire. What did he do? The Lord rained upon Sodom and upon Gomorrah, brimstone and fire. So God rained down on Sodom and Gomorrah, brimstone and fire. Do you think he's going to do that today? Is it America pushing homosexuality? Is it America saying you can a man can marry a man? A woman can marry a woman? Is it America pushing that? They are, right? You said what? Still gonna be dead. What do you mean by it's still gonna be dead? They're gonna be they're dead. That's against the law. It is against the laws of God. But they made it a law in America that you can do that. That's man-made. That is man-made, right? Just like the coronavirus. But listen good to what God is going to do to his people. Isaiah 66. Bring it out. Bring it out. Bring it out. So just as he did with Sodom and Gomorrah, it was a small remnant of people in them. You only had, who was that? Lot. Lot and and his daughters, right? Right. Lot and his daughters, the only one that made it out of there, right? That was a very small remnant. That was three people. Bring it out. Supposedly four, but his his wife got turned into a pillar of salt. Right. Right? Read that. Isaiah 66. Isaiah chapter 66, verse 15. Now, listen good. What's going to happen to Babylon the Great, this, the country that we in right now, for pushing homosexuality, pushing same-sex marriage. Right. Got our people bugging out over some coronavirus. Bring it out. Read. For behold, the Lord will come with fire. The Lord will do what? Will come with fire. Just as he did with Sodom and Gomorrah. Read. And with his chariots like a whirlwind. And with his what? His chariots like a whirlwind. What a lot of people are going to be afraid of in that day is when you see UFOs come from space. Right, right. Those are the chariots of God. Yes, and they're going right. to come with what? Read on. To render his anger with fury. So God is going to render his anger with fury. Why? Because there's people walking by. They don't want to hear God's word. Jeez. In all praises, some of our people are standing by listening. That's good. But our people 
that walk by and when we call them and they say, man, I ain't want to hear that. No, no. I don't want that flyer, right? They don't understand what they do. Right. right. Read. And his rebuke with flames of fire. So these chariots and God is going to come in on these chariots, so-called UFOs, to destroy this place. Right. To wreak havoc on this place. Right. Right. Worse than Sodom and Gomorrah. Yeah. This place is going to be destroyed so bad, we're not even going to remember the time of Egypt, how he destroyed Egypt. Right. Because of how this place is going to be destroyed. Bring it out. All this is recorded in the Bible. These are secrets being revealed unto y'all. You understand that? So y'all know that y'all are the children of Israel now, right? We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.